saying. He's not doing anything. He stand back and take punch, and then he fights in the middle of the round. Seems like he gives up half of the round before he starts fighting. And now Mondo starting to come on. Inside, he dropped McCourt. And that hasn't happened a lot, Mark Abrams, in his career. There's a left hook. McCart's legs kind of went out from under him there. Let's see if he, a lot of time left in this round. Mondine said, I have the speed. I have the power. I have the skills to beat any fighter out there. Please bring on Mayweather Jr. I don't know if he can, <laughs> I don't know if he really won Mayweather. Mayweather can fight. Oh, the right hand, a right hand. Uh, and McCart referee Robert Bird checking the, him out. The towel's in the hand of a quarterman from McCart. Oh, and right the McCart ready to go. Fight's over. Fight's that over. Is it. That is it. What a win for Anthony Mundine. Down. Vicious right uppercuts. Tony Brown is now in trouble. He's covering up with 14 seconds remaining here in round number two at the star. And Anthony Mundine goes to work. Big shot from Mundine. Mundine's pushing him back, looking for the KO. Punches back off the ropes, Tommy Brown, and wears a big shot. Wow. Oh, the round comes to an end, and Brown hits the deck hard. He's in trouble. And Brown the stopped the fight. is... Gone, Anthony Mundine with a sensational victory wow. here at the star, right on the bell of round number two. We've got the replay right here, Ben. There's the right hand that stunned him a little bit, pushed him back towards the ropes, and then he was looking for the finish from that point on. And as you can see, Mundine putting the pressure on. Brown was just finding it very, very difficult to respond in any way, shape or form. Mundine throwing hooks to the body, to the head, and straight, consistent punches. And then he tried to fire back, he did. did Tommy, and it left him open at the bell. Good and then night. it is that tight left hook that, was the that one. put him down and Good out. Night. Mundine, that the right hand is the damage that made him wobbly bend. You can see the work here on the ropes, and then boom. Good night. The left hook did it. It is a highlight moment for Anthony Mundine, the 42-year-old version. And wow. the good news... We really appreciate the comment from Troy Waters, the trainer of Guy in the corner at the moment, giving us a great insight. This is some sort of fight at the moment. Anthony Mundine has been put under pressure. He's been challenged here by Guy Waters. The question's being popped. Let's see what the man can come up with. There you go, tiny guy, tiny guy. Oh. Angelo, when they knocked out Team Amateur with that right hand the way they did it, 
I went and spoke to him afterwards. I watched the fight very closely, and I said, Tony Mundine said, yeah, you watched that guy. And I said to Anthony, you watched that guy. You planned that. You knew you could do that. He said, yes. And that's exactly what they did tonight. Yeah, very a very proud celebration as well. Anthony Mundine can do it all. He's a supreme athlete. He says, and he's lived up to it so far. Here's Andy Raymond. was a big right hand. That was a, almost as big as the punch in the first round, but he took it well. And, and again, again. 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 Solomon cupping a couple here. Still two minutes to go in number nine. I think Solomon's corner's got to seriously start watching this fight. Yes, I think you're right there. He's on the back foot. He's been hurt a couple of times in this round so far. Mundine looking to set him up. You still get the feeling it's one punch away. One minute, 20 seconds to go. Big left, Mundine, loading up again, tagging him again with the left. Mundine with a flurry, Solomon Steger. Can Mundine close it out? Solomon a warrior. But surely he can't take much more of Whoa. this. He's not on steady legs. He wins another one. He's so tough. For the knockout blow. Are we seeing the end of Sam Solomon's career? Oh, look. Crack ball. He's got to stop this fight. Sam Solomon's corner. Too much punishment here. One more 50 punch could do it. To go. One more punch could do it. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's got to be it. That's it. That's got to be it. They've got to stop the fight. Really hurt. Monday loads up again. Stop it. It is a spectacular performance, a dominant display, it's one of his best ever, he's done it again. What a dominant one will always get through. Still bleeding from the nose here, early stages, round number three. Mundine's left hand is doing all the damage here. opens up. Then pointing him as well, his hands down around his waistline. Anthony Mundine hasn't opened up yet. He hasn't hardly thrown a right hand. And the right eye. Oh. He got a hand from Anthony Mundine. Two moments more is out. He tries over. Anthony Mundine has knocked out. Two moments more here in round number three. And he has been problem. Mundine goes top 15 in the world. And now they must pay some respect. Anthony Mundine and Timo Masur was out before he hit the canvas. Wow. And he's gone down heavily. Wow, that was one of the best KOs, clean KOs I've ever seen. Well, you won't see a better shot than that. It's hit him right on the point of the chin and he could not have written all over it. Oh, look, he was he was out before he hit the floor, mate. He was out the second it hit him. He didn't even know it was coming. That's a classic right cross. With blinding speed. The speed's what K.A. He's got power and he's got speed, I tell you. I reckon I'm right about this guy, mate. He's something else. Anthony Mundine unloads on Timo Masua and the dual Australian champion, the dual New Zealand champion, who was down at an hour. And then continues on his march to water crack at the world title. I'll tell you what, he didn't even hardly raise a sweat, I don't think.